subject. What is hydraulic cement? Hello friends today I would like to briefly describe hydraulic cement that is now beginning to be familiar and began to push for more widespread use. In this article, we will discuss the subject of why do we need to be resilient and turn to use hydraulic cement? In addition, it comes to know the basic features that you should know. Let's start with the history of hydraulic cement. Together first. As Thailand has become a member under the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, or the English name that the United Framework Convention on Climate Change and has ratified the Paris Agreement in 2015 that will participate in reducing greenhouse gas emissions by 20% from normal cases within the year. 2030 compared to the base year, 2007, one of the country's greenhouse gas reduction measures in the field of industrial processes and product utilization is to require the use of clinker substitutes in cement production to reduce carbon dioxide emissions which is the cause of greenhouse gas emissions. You may be confused by the word clinker. Clinker, in simple terms, is like coffee beans that have been roasted but not ground before being mixed or prepared into different types of mortar. Normally, cement production involves burning raw materials to turn them into clinker. This is an energy-intensive process and produces about 800 kilograms of carbon dioxide emissions per ton of clinker. Cement manufacturers therefore use materials that emit less or no carbon dioxide emissions. To partially replace cement, about 10% of cement, creating a new product called hydraulic cement. If mentioned, properties of hydraulic cement. Hydraulic cement is a cement that meets the industrial product standards. TIS.2594-2556 It is similar to the American Standard ASTM C1157. The difference between the TIS. 15 to 2555 standard for Portland cement and the TIS. 2594 to 2556 standard for hydraulic cement is mainly in terms of control, that is, TIS 15 to 2555 focuses on controlling the chemical and physical characteristics of cement. TIS.2594-2556 emphasis is placed on the properties and performance of cement. Hydraulic cement can be used in general structural construction and large-scale construction works that require high compressive strength and durability, as well as Portland cement. Data from the European Cement Association show that in the European Union, hydraulic cement, according to EN 197-1, is used more. 75% of total cement consumption in many countries in Asia have increased consumption of hydraulic cements such as Bangladesh, Indonesia and Vietnam. In the production of Portland cement, 93% clinker is used. Hydraulic cement segment the clinker will be less than 83% of the total proportion. By replacing clinker by 10%, carbon dioxide emissions can be reduced by up to 39 kilograms of carbon dioxide per ton of clinker. In Thailand, Clinker production is about 50 million tons per year. If reduced by 10%, it means that clinker consumption is reduced by about 5 million tons, which means that it can reduce carbon dioxide emissions by as much as 195 million kilograms of carbon dioxide. Side. When comparing the properties of hydraulic cement with that of Type 1 Portland cement, it was found that Hydraulic cement requires less water to mix. And if using the same ratio of water to cement the slump value of concrete using hydraulic cement is approximately 12 to 17% higher. And when the concrete hardens hydraulic cement will result in lower shrinkage. It has equal or slightly better resistance to color fading. But there will be a slightly deeper carbonation, about 1 millimeter. 
for society and the environment hydraulic cement is a product that can significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions and contributing to sustainable development in the cement industry and the construction industry in the future. This article contains some content from the web. Ensyndrome.com Reference, the Thai Cement Industry Association